Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. Oh, that's crazy. We can't get the VIP. As close as course side as possible. I'm bro. Oh, you already know I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I think that's why I said everything happens for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I think that I can be the solution where we. To help you to become better at your craft. It's what goes on between this year and this year and in our hearts that determine our lives out there. There's no reason to time this money. Right? How do you multiply time? How do you buy time? Rich people buy time. So never say, I can't afford it. It's the youngest Mr. Universe ever. And it was because. You know, we're looking for the gyms that were open the mm. earliest, so then you could work on your game. And yes, we did see you actually have fun and play some video games, get some food, do all that like a normal human being. But you still came back at like 1 a.m. and we're watching some of your film from actually working out in the gym that day. When you're doing that, like what exactly are you looking for in that kind of footage? Hey. I never had water that tastes so good. Little Nana, eat a little Nana, man. Gotta get a little sauce. Mm. Little sauce apple. <laughs> Shout out to Smoke Man with the GT cut. Mm. Oh, this GT is supposed to be in my crib. You ain't gotta drop me up, I'm running over there. Every day, McDonald's. Every day before school. Little bubble seafood, everybody go there. That's like the one time. <laughs> How long did you live here till? No, we just lived here. I'm gonna show you the old house. I'm saying that did you live here like the whole high school? No, no. I didn't live here in high school. I'm gonna show you where we lived at. Came from Liberty County, came from Hinesville, Georgia. Went to Liberty uh, High School, went to Lewis Frazier, just a local kid from, from Hinesville, Georgia. What advice would you give a young high school kid right now, just, you know, trying to better their game, develop themselves, you know, uh, they don't have many resources, but like, what, what, would you, what would you tell them? I know for me, it was, uh, I didn't really need that many resources. Mm -hmm. I mean, because at the end of the day, if you really want to get better at basketball, you're going to find a place. There's there's outside courts. There's all these gyms in the city. Um, yeah, sometimes you got you can't really get on post, but there's so many gyms like the YMCA. Like I'm going to the YMCA. I've never had a YMCA call. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still just trying to find a gym when something's not open. Or yeah. Like I'm just trying to. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to you work on your game. I mean, if you really work on your game, really watch the game of basketball and like really fall in love with it. I mean, you can do anything. Because at the end of the day, everyone can't go to the NBA. Yeah. I mean, it's really hard to be there. There's a lot of stuff that I had to go through to, to get there. Uh, but you also can play professionally somewhere. Okay. You can really do something. You can really take yourself places that you never think that you'll be. So. Oh, my God. Can't believe, yeah. you, can't believe you put me in stats. 
Well, you had to. I'm still mad at you today for doing that. AMDM wasn't going to work for Auburn. For <laughs> Auburn. <laughs> She's right about that. AMDM wasn't going to work. <laughs> Dang, man. So you're a guidance counselor? Mm-hmm. School counselor. <laughs> she everything. Every time I used to have a problem, I used to walk straight to that little room. Wow. The hey, owner of Chick-fil-A right here? Yeah. yeah. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> yes, sir. My hey. name is Davion. Hey, I'm Nick. Hey, Davion, how are you? Good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. You man, too. hey, great year. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, congratulations. I'm grabbing that raid. Your camera ain't never seen this. Your camera ain't never seen nobody throw down just like this right here, man. You not know what he doing. It's serious. Y'all need to make sure y'all call me if y'all got a little birthday party. <laughs> Bart Mitzvah. Oh, oh my. I could have played two sports. Hey, I'm going to say it to this day, dog. And hey, we told you that. We told him that. You know what I'm I could have played both sports. That's a high school ball. <laughs> and the cookout for me. Call me on. Oh, my. <laughs> You're going to put your cookies on right now. You can, you know, enjoy yourself. Go out there and have some chips. Get something to drink, you know. Till like We, we ain't starting until like 6.37. Just relax a little bit before you get ready. For sure. Appreciate y'all. You didn't yeah. play football, did you? No, no, no. Did you have any interaction? Yeah, he said, yo, you can get some tickets? Hold on. I said, yeah, come on there. He's like, if you fly me out. This man is They get some tickets, they pull up. Well, what kind of tickets they get in there? Regular tickets. Oh, that's crazy. We can't get the VIP? Woo, VIP! I'm, I'm going to get VIP. What is the VIP? Front row seats. What's that cost? Side. Cost a lot of money. Uh, Listen, as close to the course side as possible. And bro, y'all getting regular seats. Regular seats. Is that in the middle section or like? That's crazy. All right. Hey, at least he hooking us up though, so like you gotta That's appreciate. True. That's true. You gotta appreciate. You gotta pull up. Oh, you already know I'm gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> Better. I'm the only one that got 20. First of all, y'all got PCs, y'all cheat. Second of all, our screens just look better. That's what we moving slow. <laughs> a nice one, I'm gonna go eat something. Mm. Man, you trip, you just gotta eat fries. Man, where is... They just don't understand. That's that real sweet Kool-Aid too. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially after I work out, like when, the different things is when you work out in the off season, you want to work on like the different footworks, the different like things that you can add to your game to see if like I'm actually perfecting or am I just actually going out there and just doing anything. So like I try to watch it and then try to go to the next day and like, yo, work on this footwork. Um, you didn't do good in this footwork. I just try to analyze it so the next day I can be better than when I actually watch it. And then, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. It's, it's a lot that I watch when I watch it, so it's kind of hard to explain. You know, but. You look good, I'm a huge Doug Christie fan because I grew up in Sacramento, so I grew up rooting for him and now having a relationship with him. He's just amazing. I I'm curious just kind of what your connection is with him and maybe what have you picked up from just being with him? Yeah, man, Doug's real. He's a real detailed guy. Like you said before, like he's a really detailed guy. Like as far as like my shot, like he kind of helped me with my shot a little bit too, where he just told me like, be consistent, be this, let it be the same all times. Like if you miss her or you make it, like 
let it be the same all time and live with the results. And Chicken week. Yeah. Yep. And for some black pepper and uh, salt. Yep. Okay. You want to cut them? Cut. Okay. How would you like? Medium well. Okay. That you can take our steps and our sins as a family. Lead us in the Holy Spirit. Everything you have to guide for us. Amen. Amen. Sour sauce gonna come in. Sour sauce. You guys be eating after the games or not for real? Uh. Regular season. Usually. Yeah, I mean, we have team meals usually after. Yeah. But, like, on the road, like, after practice, usually when we, like, go out to, like, restaurants, you know what I mean, yeah. figure it out. Usually, like, Davion, well, Mezzi, and me and GA try to go figure some food out. So, flight change. Yeah. All right, gang. I'm a, I'm a bump with you. Catch you. You're obviously trying to take your game to the next level. You said in the docu series, you're trying to be the best player ever. Mm -hmm. Like, wh wh who who told you like, hey, you got to watch everything? Like, where did that come from? I mean, I don't think no one really told me. I just know that the there's. There's a lot of things you have to do to be the best. I mean, you can't really do what other, you have to do something. You have to do more than what the average person does. And I feel like the average person doesn't watch their workouts. The average person doesn't really, like I said, analyze their workout. They, they work out, but they don't really analyze it. You know so it's like, the average person doesn't do that. So it's like, I try to be better than, than everyone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know those things, like to be the greatest, you have to do those things. So I know like, I do those things. You know what I'm saying? So if I, I know that when I'm done playing, I know I can't say, man, I didn't, I didn't watch enough film or I didn't work hard. Like when I'm done playing, I want to say like I did, gave it my all, the whole, like my whole career. Um, and the hey, is that mom again? Oh, I forgot your exact. Yeah, time change. And then I gotta stop. You know, it's not a direct flight. The nuggets, the cinnamon ones. Yeah, yeah. Seven forty-five. Got a new revenue. Get it at night time. Ooh, a thief in the night. Appreciate it. My favorite player. Appreciate you. Good luck. Good luck. Going to support. Yeah. Yeah, I lived there. I lived there for two months. I lived in Barcelona for two months. I lived in Italy for three months. Yeah, it was solid. Those are great cities. It was, I mean, it was dope. It was beautiful. Hello, thank you for this day. We're about to eat. Let it be nourished with five bodies. Thank you to bring us together. Continue to not us. As you lead our steps and guide our paths and our mentalities and our minds. In your holy name we pray. Amen. If he does not make this between the legs dunk, he has to book me a flight anywhere I want to go. But if he makes it, I have to buy him any pair of shorts he wants. I want the shoes. Shoes. They got to be clean though. It can't be like... So 
Oh, you know, no, that's right? only fair. No, no. that's no. only fair. Bro. How's that fair? We knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Chipotle with the vibes, man. Just go to Chipotle every day, man. Yeah. Yeah. Competing is like, like, it's so much fun to me. So like when we play like, like with my friends, when we play ones, like we can literally play ones like all night. Like I would enjoy that. Like working out is cool, but you only can do so much working out. You know what I'm saying? So like I work out, but also like when I work out, I put ones into it just to make it a little bit more fun. Cause you don't want to be in the gym, be like, man, I have to be in the gym. You want to be in the gym, like, man, I get to go. Hey, You ain't got the hoodie though. He definitely has the hoodie. That's all right, now. Yeah, what, what's a typical typical day for you like in the off season? Like like today? I mean, you, you're getting up early, getting in the gym. Like, what what's it like? Well, typical day like tomorrow. Um, I would say I work out in the morning. We go at like it just depends where we are. But say today we'll probably go at like nine. Um, and then I lift, well, I lift before. So let's say I lift at like 8.30 or eight o'clock that I lift. And then I work out um, after that workout, then it's more. And then I kind of just throughout my day, recovery, do whatever, and then go back at night and do the same thing that I just basically did, but not the same thing, but like basically in the morning time, it's more like workouts, like yeah. working out, moving, a lot of movement, a lot of shots, a lot of running. But the, the nighttime is more just shots. Um, just working on just getting that shot really like prepare for the next season um you want to be able to shoot the ball so it's kind of just more shots not as much movement a little bit of movement but we try not to go hard because at the end of the day you still got 82 games coming up yeah. so you kill yourself um because like in one season i was i ain't gonna lie at one point i was like man i'm exhausted so <laughs> <laughs> so i kind of got to balance it out a little bit uh but i think it's we're doing a really good job i think we're really good good working my shots looking a lot better it feels a lot more comfortable Even before when people were coming in, I'm in the gym shooting. Uh, my grandma used to own the gym, so every Monday and Tuesday when it's closed, I'm in here still working out. No matter if anyone's in here or someone's in here, I'm just here just trying to get better every day. And I think what took off for me, it was just like, I used to try to play with older people. Oh yeah. Like I was always trying to be on the court with Jordan McRae, Ryan, like even at a young age. because I didn't have that many um, offers when I transferred. Like it was like, I had two schools. It was Georgia State or St. John's. Oh, okay. And I took a visit to Georgia State. I was going to go to St. John's afterwards, but Baylor came to play late. Like, late as I don't know what. It was like, I already scheduled St. John's. I already went to Georgia State. Like, I was about to go to St. John's. And then, yeah, Baylor came late because I knew this guy that I used to work with in high school. Um, he used to work me out. And he knew one of the coaches there. 
he kind of said, yo, I got Davion for you, woo woo And it was like, uh, he was all right. Um, I like his game. I went to a visit to Baylor, and I loved it. Like, the coaches loved me. They, need, they needed another guard because their guard was transferring. Mm-hmm. And then they had a senior guard, a grad transfer, that came in, so I knew I was going to be able to have the keys when I get there. And then when I got there, I sat out a year. I got better throughout the whole year. And then when I played, I was, it was up from there. I got your help. What was probably the biggest learning experience you had from your rookie year? Like, is there anything that jumps out to you? Uh, me just, uh, I would say just me, like, not working out so much. Um, like, learning where, learning that, like, Davion, you got a back-to-back and you got to fly. No need to do this. Like, no need to work out at night in the morning time, right? You, you can't do that. Like, you have, and then you play. It's not like you don't play. It's like, you play, you got to guard the best players. Like, you got to guard these guards, and you don't got no legs. And it's like, you're kind of being selfish a little bit. So, like, I kind of had to learn that. Uh, I kind of learned that towards the end of the year. Like, like I, I got to calm down a little bit, because, I mean, after, like, after basically 30 games, after a college season, it's like, it's so many games. Like, I never played this many games in one season. So, you got to, like, learn to save your legs, learn that recovery is really important, because you, you're not just trying to be good for 82 games. You got 82 games, and you're trying to get to the playoffs. Yep. Like, yeah. trying to get so many more games at 82, so you had to learn. I had to learn that. Um, but I feel like I learned from it.
Hey man, you live here in Liberty County, man. Checking out Davion and the day and how he living, man. Oh, bro, don't get that. Don't get that. Hey, look for yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. All right. Man, y'all finish the game. I thought you were about to dunk it. Hey! Hey, bro, what you play? Yeah, come on, man. That's what they. This is what they use. Let me go ahead and get you right. Keep your hands still. Watch out. <laughs> Keep your hands still. Bojangles, all right. You put me coming up? You pull it up? I'm on you. Okay. For sure. Uh, this is Jordan weekend. Uh, you doing like basketball camp? Right now you want to tell me. Two Pepsi. What you want? My bad, y'all. You gotta get the wing, nigga. Is it good to eat? We're in Wonton right now, we're in the country. Smoke. Don't they have the best sweet tea in the country? Here? Yeah. Easily. Baby, I'm Mitchell. How are you? I'm good. Tired. I'm good. Why are you tired? Just got done working out. So, you know, you being a transfer, you have to sit out this year. How tough is that going to be for you? It's going to be tough. I mean, How did you process some of that losing that was happening? I talked to my agents for hours, uh, like my mom for hours, because it was really getting to me, like, man, like, He don't make me run suicide. Then, then Cause if I didn't, water. you weren't gonna be ready. You, ah, yeah, I'll be worried. Ah, right ah. You can't move. Sweet and spicy. Instead of ranch and jack sauce, can I get uh, extra sweet and spicy sauce? Two of them. I gotta get that sparkling water. Good. Here we got now. A little Zachy special. Tell you, regular. Nick. Nick. Nick, that's it. That's it, bro. Thank you. Can't do it life. You miss out on a lot of things, don't miss out on prayer. Nick, I put him on that wings and things. Yesterday, he got three chicken fingers. <clears throat> Wasn't enough. <laughs> Wasn't enough, so I had to go get this. Trade me a wing, though. Uh-uh. Trade me a wing. I want a wing. So I can't get one of yours. You got one yesterday, like tell me. Right. Yo, you been tired. Right. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> he is. He's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
is all right, enough. A little rock in the middle. Yeah. Where are we meeting at? Yo, we meeting here? What's the routine been looking like? As far as what? Like out here? No, nah, well, just, just since he started up a little pickup. Uh, I mean, work out before pickup. So we're working out uh, early in the morning, probably like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. Um, Why so early? That way he get a little break before he gets to the play pickup. Um, that's like the biggest thing is like to get his actual work in because that's the most important piece. Then get a little break in between so that way he's not stiff and stuff going into pickup. Um, and then, you know, going out there and, and putting everything that he's working on to use. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the two days? We go, we go after pickup. It's three days technically when we got pickup because we got the workout in the morning, then we'll play pickup, and then we'll go at nighttime. Mm. But not all the time, three days. No, no, no. Only the pickup days would count as three days. But uh, for the most part, if it is a three day day, it's only because he did weights. Mm. I gotta make it three days. Okay. I'm just running over down the court. Just for the sweat, huh? He done broke that sweat already, too. Yeah, because it's hot, man, you know? Ray. Dead Ray. Come on, man. Uh huh. Jesse. Yes, Pick him up 94. Oh, he don't like that. Easy, he don't like that. Easy, he don't like that. Right past me. Jesse's not going. Jesse's not going. Yeah. Sit down, behave. You're good. You're good. Boom. Hey, Jesse eating good, man. Double his. Oh. Let me sign a couple. I got you. What I need to work on to be the best way I can be here. Everything. Like all hands. Everything. Everything. Work on everything. Okay? That's what I did. I worked on everything. Lift hand, ball handling, shooting. Work on everything. You're young right now. So if you work hard right now, you're going to be ahead of everyone. All right? Hey. All, all white? All right, man. I got you. Here for one year, but like, do you, do you think about that at all, or maybe you think it maybe a more positive standpoint? It's like, hey, I could help be part of the solution that like ends this drought and really builds sustained success. Like, what do you think when you hear about that 16-year drought? Yeah, I think about it the way you just said. I think about it every mm -hmm. day. It's like everywhere I went, it's always been like, like people don't really people say this is a drought because the NBA, so everyone knows the NBA. But even in college, where like there was a drought where like Baylor hasn't won a national championship or been to the final four since like 1916. You know what I'm saying? So it's like making history is like what I want to do. And like, I think that's why I said everything happens for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I think that I can be the solution where we can, I can be a part of this team and we make this playoffs after 60 years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think about that every day. Like even in high school, my team, Liberty County has never won a uh, state championship. But when I was there, we won the state, state championship. So it's like those things I think about every day, like all the time. I'm glad you mentioned that, actually. All right, okay. That one. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God, it's off! Everything good? How you like in uh, California, man? It's cool, bro. Yeah, it's solid. 
My nieces said they saw you at the camp out in, in Hinesville, man. Yeah, yeah, um, I pulled up. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they was excited to see you. Yeah, definitely for sure, man. Throw that in there for you, man. Dang. Moms, everybody good, man? Whole family yeah, good? Yeah, everybody cool, bro. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man, of course, bro. Of course. Yeah, man, that's actually mine. It was raining the other day. I was outside, and dude was like, bro, do you have a Supreme Poncho? I was like, yeah, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I was like, I ain't trying to flex. So like, I, I ain't have my umbrella, so I had to right. throw something on you. Feel me? Shout out, dude. Off the way, Savannah, Georgia, man. Good to see you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. All right, man, be safe. Look. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. That's tough. All right, my boy, I gotta get out of here. Get him. Sorry, bro. We can do about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Let's, let's make some real good content. I'm a school champion, college champion, current NBA player for Sacramento Kings. Davion Mitchell. What's up, my boy? How you doing, man? Man, you special. You know, not because of the basketball stuff, not because of the high pick you were or the championship. None of that accolade stuff means anything. The mentality is what makes you separate yourself from other people. And his mentality is something that he was given by himself. Like, no one can take credit for his thought process or his mentality. Me, Ryan, and, and, and Jordan, we kind of talked about it. Just build a 24 hour gym. Um, it was kind of like, it's so hard to get in the gym these days. Like, especially for me, it was easy for me because, you know, my grandma owned this. So it was like, I got in the gym anytime I want a little bit. But it's like harder for the next kid to, to wow. want to be like me to get in the gym because he got to wait till two o'clock. Or he got to have a YMCA card. Yeah. Or he got to go on post, but you don't have, you can't get on post like that because it's so hard. Mm -hmm. It's like so many, and then high school is not letting you in the gym now. So it's like, it's so hard to get in the gym. So. We were all talking about it. let's like let's really do this, and we got this in the process. We're trying to find a, a building, a spot to work. Um, thank you so much, man. I'm gonna watch some of these games at Schumann. If you don't have anything to do right now, there are live games here at Schumann from two o'clock, and the last game starts at five. They are free to come in and watch. We both play defense. We're good. <laughs> diamond. He won one A, and after that he went to Diamond again. So he went to Diamond. Uh huh. Let's go ahead and turn up. What's up, Mike? What's up? Let's go ahead and turn up. Easy. Smoke ain't doing nothing right now. Knock down. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Get up, Wami, and one. Sir. And one. Oh, my God. Uh huh. Wami. And one. I'm about to say, you don't got that. You do not have that. <laughs> break, 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 break. 